This composition viewed here through these flowers and this lovely rustic broken down offense is a good one, but as you can see, the weather has spectacularly failed us. What we have is this kind of gunmetal gray, overcast, dark sky, and I want to produce something with a bit of punch. The way that I'm going to do that without resorting to filters is I'm going to get stuck into the manual mode of my camera, and that's going to let me have lots of really fine grained control over exactly what my image looks like. So what I'm going to do here, if I look through my camera as it is kind of in its full automatic mode, I'm looking at a, an interesting composition, sure, but it's a bit flat and I think that I can punch it up just a little bit by using a few really simple techniques. If I scroll over here, I have the pro expert mode. So if I, on this particular model, go down to more and then pro or expert, which always makes me feel good about my photography anyway, what I have control of here is technical things in my camera like shutter, ISO, white balance, and those are things that when added together are going to make a real impact on how my frame looks. The first thing I'm going to do is start to control the exposure. I'm going to do that using the shutter, which here is set to auto, but if I grab this slider and pull it up and down, you can see my image getting brighter. As the shutter gets longer and longer, as the shutter is open for longer, what I get is a brighter image, and as I scroll down, my shutter becomes quicker and quicker and quicker, my image becomes darker, and in fact I can see that the ISO here, how sensitive the camera is, is being handled automatically, so after a certain point I actually can't change the exposure that much, so I'm just going to set my ISO, what do we think, ISO 400 perhaps, a nice clean setting there, and then as I scroll back up you can see I've got loads of flexibility over exactly what my picture looks like. And what we're looking for here is a nice bit of definition in the sky without totally underexposing these nice flowers on my right hand side because they're an important part of the frame. So I think that is about it. The other thing that I have control of in this expert mode is white balance. White balance, basically a way of describing how warm or cool your image looks. So if I pick up WB here for white balance and start moving that slider around, you can see that as I drag downwards, as I come cooler on my white balance setting, my image becomes much more blue, which is quite sort of atmospheric and maybe good if I'm trying to make it look like I've taken a picture at night, but it's not quite the effect that I want. As I come up the other side, my image gets warmer and warmer. That's roughly neutral, roughly daylight, I suppose. But then if we keep going further, what we do is we warm the image up and the effects that that has, apart from making everything look a bit more autumnal, I'm getting a bit more pink from the flowers. I'm getting a bit more kind of green and orange from this field in the background. It really picks up all of these greens and yellows on the surrounding edges of the frame. And I think what that is going to do is make this look like a much more kind of pastoral, verdant scene. This frame, I think, is a lovely exposure. These clouds in the background have lots of life and detail in them. And I'm liking this branch through the middle of the frame leading you down to these flowers. Lovely exposure, fairly rubbish composition I would say. This little gate down here, which is really the thing that drew me to the scene in the first place, we've cut off nearly all of it. So what I'm going to be able to do, because I'm using manual mode, is I can recompose without any of my exposure or white balance resetting and shoot a proper one. This composition I think much better. You've got the entire gate in there which gives you a real sense of place and time, how long everything has been here. I love that it looks like it's being eaten up by this bush of flowers over on the right hand side. Nice composition. Shame about the exposure. This time all of the sky is overexposed. This is too long a shutter speed and what that means is that all of this nice detail in here is totally lost. This frame I think has everything in it that I was hoping for from this scene. It's a nice composition. I like the gate in the middle there. I love this little broken nook that's just kind of missing off the bottom of it that tells its own story. I like these flowers on the side and the exposure is bang on because we have loads of detail in the cloud. There's even a little bit of colour in there, but this frame I think is for me a winner.